Hey, what's up guys? Nick from Make Graves. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a track called OK in Behind the Beat. So let's go look under the hood here. Um, the first thing, the most predominant thing in the track, I believe, is the drum loop. Um, you can look at the screen here. It is copy and pasted throughout the entire track. There's only three breaks. Um, and that is... It's a plain old drum loop. Starts off the track. I have like three different hi-hat hi -hat loops that are going on at the same time. Cool. And the drop, the major elements are like the chord stabs. What do we got here? Some sort of organ-y type sound. Got a bass type sound. We got two guitar tracks. Got that bendy sound. And the guitar lead during the drop. Play it all together. Cool. Yeah, so there's also a lot of vocal tracks in this song too. I'm not going to go over all of them, but since there's two singers, there are harmonies and different counterpoints and different layers everywhere. Uh, so I actually have a bus for just the OKs. Okay, it's a combination okay. of Brent and Aviva. Okay, okay. And what else? Uh, nothing seems to make me feel okay. I think that's just Aviva. Nothing seems to make me feel okay. And we got the Brent bus. Nothing seems to make me feel okay. And yeah, there's uh, various effects, uh, some like risers and stuff to create tension. Slow boy. Reverse swells. And I think the sub is, what? what is the sub? Let's look. Oh, it's just Ableton Operator. Simple, simple as that. It's got some distortion on it, some low pass. Yeah, stock compression and stock distortion. Uh, and what else? I can go over the quickly go over the piano. Starts off the track. Starts with the upper voicing. And that's going through this VHS plugin. Makes it all wobbly and dissonant and detuned. And the lower voices come in later. Listen to the drop one more time. Nothing seems to make me feel okay. And that's about it. That's what goes under the hood. Thanks for watching Behind the Beat. Catch you next time.